And this is the sixth day since I've gotten the MacBook Pro and it's pretty good so far. Uh, it's much much quicker than my 2011 version and of course uh, it's sleek but my main gripe is the lack of ports. If you can look at the side of it then you can see that there are only two ports at the side and on the other side you have a headphone jack so that doesn't help. This really becomes a problem when you want to attach more peripherals such as your mice or your thumb drives or even your SD cards and even when you want to attach uh, external monitors using a HDMI cable. So the lack of ports can be circumvented with this new USB hub which I would highly recommend. Uh, let's take a closer look. And so this is the Basus Thunderbolt C Plus Pro 7-in-1 hub. It comes in this uh, space grey kind of colour, slightly darker shade than the MacBook. And it has 7 ports as you can see over here. One Thunderbolt 3 port, a HDMI port, two USB 3 ports, an Ethernet port, as well as uh, SD card slots. And at the back of the box, you can also see some specifications as to transmission rates of the USB ports and the Ethernet and Thunderbolt ports. And Beisus is a company based in Shenzhen, China. So now let's take a look at what it looks like in the flesh. The packaging is relatively simple. Uh, you can already see the hub itself. And once you remove the first layer, then you see instruction manuals at the bottom. And these manuals are pretty standard. It basically gives you the operating instructions, specifications, some uh, instructions for use and uh, troubleshooting and so on. And now on to the hub itself. When you first take it out, its USB-C ports are protected by a plastic covering. And as I mentioned, it comes in a similar dark grey to the space grey of the MacBook Pro, but slightly darker in shade. And you can see the ports lined up at the side. And once you turn to the bottom of the hub, these are your standard SD and micro SD card slots. And over here you have the USB-C plugs that would fit into the ports on the left side of your MacBook Pro. And so now let's get it plugged in to the MacBook Pro. It sits pretty flushed. And you can see also that it juts out quite a bit of course. And you can also notice that it is a slightly darker tinge of grey compared to the MacBook itself. And at the top of the hub then that's where you see the Ethernet port. So now let's plug all our peripherals in. So over here you can already see we can plug in 7 items at the same time without affecting one another. And of course then you also have slots for your SD and micro SD cards. So how I'm using it is I'm actually connecting it to my separate monitor. And before that you can also see that how the peripherals are working perfectly fine with one another. So now let's bring down my second display which is mounted on the wall and do a screen extension. And so now I have my primary display at the bottom and the secondary display at the top. And you can also sh of course shift your applications to the different screens as you deem fit. So everything works perfectly fine, although one caveat is that with prolonged use, then the hub does get hot. Um, it doesn't burn you, but it does get pretty hot. And so this is my current setup with the larger monitor used for editing of my videos and the second monitor as a display for checking in the internet or research and so on. I think it's really useful this port. Um, this hub, it gives you additional functionalities with uh, ports for the Ethernet cable, for the HDMI cable, for your power, for USB 3.0, as well as slots for your 
SD and micro SD cards. So, uh, really good buy, I would think, costing less than uh, 50 US dollars. So, hope you guys found this useful.